All right, today we're here with my leadership coach, James, and we're gonna learn more about how he has changed my life. What would you say to someone who's thinking about hiring a professional coach and is uh, worried about the commitment or the financial expense? One of the best ways to find out if you need a coach is, you know, every office has a whiteboard. You can go there and look up and see if your name is up there. If every month your name is not up there, all it means you are the coach and you're doing a pretty lousy job, so you need to fire yourself and hire someone because it's not working. So if your name is all the way up and you're doing really well, then maybe you need a different coach to identify where you are in life, where you want to go, and who can help you. And I think the coach's job is to help you outgrow them. Because if you need them mm -hmm. over and over, I agree with that. Something is, is wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as budget, um, you can always transition from something smaller to bigger. But I had a question for you. What's the difference between a mentor or a coach? Uh, I think in my mind, when I think about the two, uh, the coach has a duty to truly help the other person as much as they can. It's almost like a fiduciary duty. Uh, I think a mentor is some more of a peer-to-peer -peer kind of gentle advice. Hey, can I bounce an idea off you? Versus in coaching, it's like if I give you the advice, it's ideally the best advice I can give you, and it's up to you to apply it. If you don't change, it's not because the advice wasn't right. Yeah, I, I think coach has three important things. One is has to believe in you. Two, has to hold you accountable to what you say you're going to do. And three, to make you focus on the things it matters. So I don't think the mentor who you ask them for a lunch or a meeting will spend the time to go through that process. But the coach is aware of what you were supposed to do two weeks ago and did you do it? Like when we talk, I'm like, oh my God, he's going to ask me about that. And did I do it? Did I find the right person? So if a mentor, I, would, I don't think he will ask all those questions. Yeah, and a good, a good coach will tell you the kind but difficult truth. One of the things that really helps me as a coach is, you know, to grow is to get feedback from a client. And so my question to you would be, what can I do to help you more? I honestly think um, you have changed my life so much that I don't know if I don't have you holding me accountable, talking to me, making sure that I'm expanding my thinking, I don't know what I would do because I might go back to where my comfort zone is. Well, I think the key thing is, you know, in a coaching, when I work with somebody, I never think about kind of being there forever. And I don't coach in that way. I'm trying to give them principles so they're like a freestanding, free person that can go and do it on their own. Mm -hmm. It's like a wheel that once it starts spinning, it just needs a light touch. Mm -hmm. um, Versus in the beginning, it's, you know, pushing the wheel and getting it going. It takes more time. It takes more energy. It's more expensive. Mm -hmm. But down the road, the relationship should evolve and it should be more simple and more straightforward. And it's almost like a diagnostic. It's like, hey, how are you doing? What's going on? Where are you, where are you getting stuck? And then we go back to things that we've worked on, right? Yeah, I think, I think something that you have is you, because you work with a lot of people out there that, they do whatever they do in a high level. I want to make sure that I have access to that through you. It's like, what do you see that lady who had a big business, who's made a business decision to purchase the second business, why did she make a mistake or, or why was that the best decision? Mm -hmm. And what did she learn out of it? So it would be great to have you to say, I know three, four people that have gone through this and this is what it is. Would you do that anyway? to show me what has been done for others and is working well so I don't have to reinvent mm -hmm. the wheel. Best practices. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Harma, let me share some, a couple of things with you that I've learned from you along the way. You really lead with the heart. Your, your heart shines through. You're very empathetic. Um, you're a strong leader and you're tough when you have to be. But there's a kindness and a gentleness that really shines through and it really uh, is beautiful. It's like a, almost like a healthy vulnerability that you show as a person. And uh, it's really inspiring and you walk away from it and you're like, you know, I have to bring more of that into my life too. Thank you. Well, we did well today. Thank you. I love you.
Thank you, Harma. Please. Great to be here. When you leave, no, I'm the best client you got, okay? Please. Oh, no, for Don't sure you are. Me. You're for sure. Love so, you forever. But, thank you. Thanks for helping me be who I am, and thanks for helping me expand my thinking. Let's make sure that he's, your name is not anywhere in this video, because I don't want them to know who you are. They're my secret. Welcome. <laughs>